Welcome to the Affiliate Guy Daily, your daily source for affiliate marketing news, tips, and strategies to take your online business to the next level. Let's dive right in. Hey, what's up? It's Matt McWilliams here. And if you struggle with sending too many affiliate emails or just too many emails in general to your list, this is for you. I'm speaking directly to you today. Now, if that's not you, you don't struggle at all. Well, skip it. <laughs> Just press stop now, move on to whatever you're doing. But I know that about 70% of my audience struggles with this, according to surveys. And you're like James Prescott. Here's what James wrote to me in a recent email. He said, I am struggling sending out too many emails to my list. I can do one per week, but doing three or four, I can feel uncomfortable with. It may just be me. Maybe it's something I need to work on because I love sharing great resources with my people. That's what James wrote. And, and here's the thing. Ultimately, James, and if you struggle, you know, the answer is actually in that email. The answer is right there. I can do one per week. Okay. Why one per week? Why not one per month? Why not one per day? What, what, what's so special about one per week? The other part he says is, it may just be me. Maybe it's something I need to work on. There's your answer, James. It's something you need to work on. Like This is the tough love portion of the program where, where I say basically, you know what, you just need to get over it. The most successful people online are emailing at a minimum three or four times per week. Now, there's always outliers. There's people who, they swear, they only email once a week. I protect my, you know, I protect people's inboxes. Like, how do you protect somebody's inbox? They have a delete button. They have an unsubscribe button. And the reality is that if I can get in front of somebody 300 times per year versus 52 times per year, I'm going to kick your butt financially, all things being equal. The reason why they're successful is because all things aren't equal. You know, they've delivered multiple TED Talks. They've been on Oprah. They've been on Dr. Phil. They've been on Dr. Oz and the doctors and Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. I don't know. They've been on like TV and they've done stuff and they've had interviews with NPR and they've, they've had multiple New York Times bestsellers. And then they brag like, I only, I protect your list and, or my list and I only email once per week. And then you try to follow that advice. Well, here's the deal. Unless you've been on those shows or written those books, like, well, you're not them. Like, we have to, this is what Russell Brunson talks about. Like, we have to do things differently when we're scrapping. When you got $812 in the bank and, like, you're trying to make it. Like, you've, you've got you've to be scrappy. And one of the things you can do being, I don't know what that, I think I went through puberty just then when I said the word scrappy. You've got to be scrappy. <laughs> scrappy do. Like, no, really, you've got to be scrappy. And one of the ways you can be scrappy is, is just by putting yourself out there more. And here's the thing. Like, mentally, yeah, it's just a mental barrier you've got to get by. And you've got to ask yourself, okay, what, what happens? Like, what, what's, the, what's the bad thing that can happen if I email three times in a week, four times in a week, six, seven times in a week? We have very few off days. Now, some of those days, are, are, we're mailing to unopens. Sometimes we're mailing to a segment. Like we probably send on average 400 emails a year. It means some people are getting multiples in a day. Okay, that's like really going to blow your mind, right, James? What's the worst that can happen? Like what negative thing can result? They could click the unsubscribe button. That's it. And if somebody unsubscribes, what have they told you? They're not one of your true fans. They, that, that relationship was hanging on a thread. It's kind of like if you're afraid of getting dumped because you admit that, I don't know, that you have a little bit of debt to your significant other. If you're afraid you're going to get dumped because, I don't know, like I can't think of an example that you might be afraid of getting dumped. If you admit a fault to your significant other, you're afraid of getting dumped. What does that say about the relationship? It's hanging on a thread. So you need a new relationship. You need to let them go. And if somebody gets ticked off because they get four emails in a week, bye-bye. Let them go. You got to get past that, James. 
I encourage you, I urge you, I implore you, I beg you to get past that and just mentally get over it. So if you're struggling with sending too too many emails like James, there's your answer. Try it. See what happens. Uh, Remember that subscriber numbers like Twitter followers are a vanity number. They are worthless. An email is worthless if you don't sell something to them. I don't mean that as a value judgment on the individual. I'm not saying that individual is a worthless person. I'm saying to your business, they are worthless if there is never a financial transaction. So you've just got to get over it. You've got to say, okay, would I rather have 10,000 people that only get emailed 52 times a year? And they're all like, yay, I only get one email a year or one email a week. Or would you rather have 5,000 people who are buying, who are clicking your links? You know, it's it's the same as, would you rather have 10,000 people that you can email 52 times or 5,000 people you can email 250 times and the click-through rate is higher and the the open rate is higher and the finance, like, what would you rather have? 10,000 people making $50,000 a year or 5,000 people making $250,000 a year? That's a big duh. I don't care how many people are on my email list. I ultimately care about the success of my business. So hope that encourages you. Hope that helps you to get past this. It's a mental barrier. I wish you the best with it. And if you have a question, a problem, struggle like James, Go to asktheaffiliateguy.com, share it with me there, and I might feature you like I've featured James, and I will answer your question and help you with your struggle. Asktheaffiliateguy.com. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening. Be sure to join us daily for more tips, updates, and inspiration. You can also join us and watch our deep dives into affiliate marketing strategies at theaffiliateguy.tv. And check all of our free resources at mattmcwilliams.com. See you next episode.